Hi everybody, I um, just want to go through, uh, this is a video for my ETH holdings. Remember I started around about the end of February, beginning of March with crypto. After uh, 20 years of trading stocks and futures, I wanted to use some of those same strategies. Some of those strategies I will be talking about on my live streams on Friday mornings at uh, 8.30 or 8 to 8.30 a.m. Central European time. I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up of the sort of thing that I'm doing. Um, you know, Ethereum for me, I've got a target of getting 30 Ethereum by the end of the year. And I've been trying to use a similar strategy uh, that I use for blend investing in stock. It's been very, very helpful averaging in uh, using the indicators on the uh, crypto trading bundle to get those entries after pullbacks so i've had some entries as low as 1341 you can see up here uh, each time got a little bit of uh, you know bitcoin 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.24 0 0.4 you know all those little bits uh, 0 0.8 here down you know major support and resistance zones uh, so some of the things I'll be going through on those live streams will be how to put those support and resistance zones on and using this uh, crypto trading bundle to really get into some of the trades. So you, know, you can't always get in lows. Yes, there'll be a correction at some stage, but we have to we have to understand that we can't always get in at lows, but we need to average out and we need to uh, continually to build that purse up if you like of, of ethereum or bitcoin and this is big um ethereum in, in this case the average holding price is 1650.94 if i measure the uh, the increase in value for the current price we're around about 49 percent there 48.99 percent um on that growth uh, from my average holding position so again very very powerful tool and you should always uh Look, if you're, if you're building that sort of blend investing type portfolio in cryptocurrencies, it's something that I'm personally going to be doing uh, and sharing with everybody. You know, now I hold 4.35993 Ethereum at nearly two and a half thousand dollars. So, you know, we're starting to build that. Uh, and I just want to go through, uh, I'm not going to go through every single entry. I'm going to go through the recent entries because some people say, well, why did you get in at two thousand dollars? Because I had a really great signal in today. Uh, and this is what I'm looking at here. So let's look at these latest two uh, as an example. Uh, now, the reason why there's two is because I have some on Binance and I have some on uh, Binance. I'm building Ethereum up to, to spot trade using margin. Um, and then uh, on Coinbase, I'm just building them up for growth and I'm not going to be using, or, although I might stake at some stage. Um, but, you know, the reason why I got these two entries here purely was this uh, crab pattern that formed and the, the completion zone, uh, the D wave formed in there. Let me just move that because I've zoomed in a little bit here. So it's very, very simple in that um, when we get this harmonic pattern complete, it's part of the crypto trading bundle. Uh, when we get that complete in the pattern completion zone, there's a very high probability it's going to go long. It's colored in green. It gives you a hint. OK, it's going to go long. Uh, so I got these two entries uh, within a couple of hours of each other, really. Uh, 2004, 12, 2015. Um, you know, I got uh, 0.4109 in my um, Binance. I just got a little bit more in the uh, Coinbase uh, there. So just, you know, around about half a Ethereum coin uh, split between the two. And then we've had those moves up there, as you can see, all the way up to 2455, where we are right now. So great. You know, that was a good call. Although it's higher than those other uh, entries that I've got, you know, that's gone. It's in the past. I've still got that average holding position of 1650.94. My idea, if I can, is to keep uh, blending into this on pullbacks and try and keep that average holding cost below 2,000. If we get to 20,000 in the next five years, that would be really fantastic. So the idea is to use the same strategy I use, I've used for blending the years um, with stocks into crypto. Uh, so again, I'm using this crypto trading bundle, either the XBRAT signals intraday, 
hour or the four hour or even the daily, whether it's harmonics, well, and then getting those confirmations from the Divergence Cloud to help me build that. Now, during those live streaming sessions on Friday mornings, I will also be looking at how to use that ETH uh, with the Bitcoin and spot trade uh, on my Binance account as well. So there's there's lots of facets to it in that, yes, we want to build that portfolio of certain cryptos, but also we want to make those, uh, those coins work, if you like. We want to make sure that we're, we're, we're making them work. We're not just going to sit and hold them and look for that 48% gain. What if we can get 148% gain um, you know, by using that Ethereum when we're margin trading, uh, spot trading? And one of the ones I really want to look at is ETH BTC. Very volatile, but, but that's, it's very liquid. So one of the ones that we're probably looking at in those live streams. So uh, just a quick video to go through some of the things I'll be going in, in you know, in depth into those live streams. Uh, I've been working on this Ethereum this morning and just wanted to share, you know, what, what I've managed to get so far, if you like, with that, uh, the blend investing, you know, over, you know, nearly four and a half Ethereum now, uh, not one for just plowing loads of money. And I just want to make sure everything works okay. And, I, you know, I'm happy. I've done six months research on this and then started to go live and buy some. So uh, really, really happy with Ethereum. Again, using that crypto trading bundle, this is the trading view version. I uh, would do it for a lot of the platform to, to help me chart and understand when are the best times to get in uh, Ethereum and other crypto. So hopefully that helps, and I'll see you all. This video is made on Thursday, so I'll see you all tomorrow on the live stream.